So you've probably been wondering why Don's always so mad at me. Well, it all goes back about five or six years. I say five or six because it's hard to keep track of the days when you don't really see them too often. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it all started five or six years ago and me and a couple of the buddies decided we'd rent a boat. So we got ourselves a boat and we head out to Lake OPG. And we decided we're going to stay there for four nights. Really make a go at it, see how many, see how many bass and trout we can pick up in the, you know, in the short period of time. So, so about the third day in, we're all getting pretty exhausted. And we decided we're going to start taking shifts, watching the waters. That's what we called it, watching the waters. And when you were watching the waters, everyone else was sleeping and you were, you were watching the waters. So it's my shift to watch the waters and I'm sitting there and you know, all the fellas are asleep. They've got all their rods bolted to the side of the boat, you know, kind of like this. With the, the lines coming off, you know. Anyway, so they're all sitting there like that and I'm sitting with my rod in hand. And uh, it's been about 20, 30 minutes into my shift and I start to feel my eyes start to get pretty, pretty drowsy, you know. They're starting to get droopy and I, I'm kind of feeling like wanting to sleep myself. Until all of a sudden I feel a serious jerk on the rope, right? On the line, everything's getting really pulled, I'm really intense, and I'm screaming, I'm screaming, but it's not because I'm excited, but it's because I'm on the end of the line. First thing I know, I got one, one pair of uh, Northwestern three-pronged uh, noodle bangers jammed in my eyelids, pulling me back like this, right? And I'm starting to scream and scream, trying to wake up the other fellas, but none of them are going to get up. So that's when I'm fighting, I'm fighting back, right? Fighting back against the line. Next thing I know, I finally feel the line snap, and I get a sigh of relief, right? I'm finally free. So I'm lying down there on the bottom of the boat, and I just... Just kind of like this, you know, my eyes, are, you know, there's blood everywhere. The, the fellas are still asleep. You know, those SLPs, they can't get them up for anything. And, uh, and uh, so I'm just sitting there lying on the bottom of the boat, and I, I find out that I can't close my eyes. I can't close my eyes because my eyelids have been ripped, right? So I'm just laying there staring at the sun. You know, I wake up three days later in a hospital bed. Turns out my body's developed some sort of uh, adaptive defense mechanism that whenever I see the sun, I just, I just pass out. So, uh... I don't know if you'll excuse me.